Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Yakuza Like a Dragon on the Mysterious JG. We're still in the, um, whatever this place is, the, um, zone thing. Um, not bad. The Yamurucho, Yamuchuro Underground, whatever. We got some item that I don't know what it is. Cough drop tender, security clothes. I think there's nothing we can get without smithing that's going to be better than the robot cosplay outfits, which is one of the reasons that this game has been going so smoothly. We've had really good armor for a long time now. Um, but you can get better, but it requires the smithing components you're getting dropped here, like the, you know, the ores. Ores are like fingers. They're looking for happy campers. This is the 22nd floor out of 30. We've got to fight two of whatever the hell that is. No swapping members. And um, a technical hat if we can win within five turns. Okay. All right, let's go out there and throw down our essence of stuff that's expensive. Because we don't want to be wasting time here. we got five turns. want to fight? There you go. Good job, Psycho. One turn will definitely do it. And we got job up and job rank up for Zhao. Who's now strong. We got a beat anklet. It's going to be Rex beat the British star. And technical hat. So we can become El Technico. Uh, I'm curious about the technical hat. Like, can it do modern sensibility? Okay, whatever. It doesn't. It doesn't like increase your technique points. Like, because that's not a thing in this game. But I don't know. I thought the name suggested it might do something funny or special. It's the twenty-third floor. If you're not feeling confident, you can return. No, I'm feeling pretty confident. When within five turns, you get another empty cough drop tin. So that must be some kind of smithing component. Um, it will be lighter during battle. I don't know what that means, but five turns. So again, let's not spare the MPs here. I haven't been paying attention to what the monetary rewards have been. We've been getting good experience from these fights. But if the monetary rewards are high enough, then yeah, I just need to stock up on... Although it's like stamina, XX, and all that. All the stuff that doesn't make you drunk, but does give you MPs. Oh, there you go. She's killing it. She's even going to get another job rank fairly soon. She needs five job ranks to get any kind of stat increase. And the last one was to magic, which doesn't help her too much with her current build, but, you know. Congratulations. Eligible for additional prize. Empty cough drop tin. Huh, it's friggin' za. Okay, it's bothering me now. I need to know what the hell that is. Is it a, uh... It is a material. Tin that once held Asada, Ame, cough drops. There's nothing inside now, but the can can be used for enhancing. Can could be used, okay. For suppressing your own thoughts. So two more to go before we get to the final checkpoint. The final checkpoint. Uh, win without switching party members. Bleeding will slowly increase your health. Yuck. All right, let's go forward. Scared. So everybody's bleeding. Thunder in paradise. Scar Jacuzzi is pretty. 
It makes sense he's scarred. He's got all this bleeding going on, but, uh... Guy throws around some damage, doesn't he? Glad he, glad he went after Namba and not, or sorry, uh, Adachi and not Namba. This could have been a lot worse. up a little with my uh, timing on the QTE, but we should be okay. Job rank up for her, so she'll get her MPs back for free. Excellent. We got permanent defense plus five. So yeah, he's still getting something out of that job ups, but... Revival microphone. You're in the minister robe. So you can become the sinister minister. Uh, so good. So really good. tasty. Trying to find stuff that's not alcoholic that restores MP, you know. So this will be another boss floor. Let's see what we're up against. Oh, we are up against uh, construction equipment again. We have to win within five turns. Yuck. But it was to get an empty cough drop tin, which we've already got some of them. I don't know how many you need. Um, all right, well, it's going to be weak against electrical, which means, sadly, um, Psycho won't be of too much use because she has no access to electrical element, but all the guys do, so. Heavy machinery. Otis and that other guy, who I don't think are even a team anymore. Come on now! Divine Let's do it. I got this. Right. Can't lie. Get serious. Let's go. Take your best shot. You're weak. I got uh, this. electric damage in the area it was used on. It's chance to paralyze foes. Yeah, sounds like the best thing to use here. Weak though. Yeah. Have fun with this. Nature is about to get furious. I'm up. I got this. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hmm. Really it wouldn't be her turn next. Because she has the probably the least ability to damage this thing. Oh, yeah? But we can go hope that Essence of Gale Slash does it. I'm curious to see what this looks like with a construction equipment. So I'll let this play out because usually she's got a hit spinning around at the end of her blade. No, she's just they just take out all the shots of the opponent. Yeah, I guess there is a kind of a specialty one for something that she can't carry around like that. And damn. I don't think we're gonna do it. I think it's going to be too late to count for the bonus uh, item. Yep, it's too late to count for the bonus item. But we already have some, and 
it doesn't seem like that's the easiest one to, way to get your hands on those, so. Staff of Five Wisdoms has been uh, gathered. We will go down to the 26th floor. And uh, I think we can just pop right back up, pop up and hit a restaurant to get all of our MPs and stuff back. That's not the right thing to do. Yeah, that lightning bombs wasn't wasn't up to the same power level as any of the guys actually casting a spell. She didn't go for the slingshot top rope lightning bomb. She just went for a regular old lightning bomb. So she didn't go for the super fire, super fire mountain bomb or super thunder fire bomb or whatever great Suzuki used to do. Great Suzuki or Great Sazuke? Hmm? Oh, we're back up to 5 million yen, so we must be getting some pretty decent money from these fights. Uh, temporarily greatly boosts evasion. We might as well grab some. Hey, cool, some lockers. I wonder if hmm? any uh, little masters are in there. Try for a different combination here this time. We'll do a wild burger with chicken and tea. Who's on me? And we got attack slightly boosted. Delicious. Delicious. I've only gotten like one thing that actually triggered eating dialogue, and that was some kind of spicy food we had at a specific restaurant where Ichiban and Adachi started talking about uh, spicy food. Throw on a save here just in case um, I feel things don't go right. But uh, yeah, I think we're just going to finish out this video. Uh, I'm guessing by finishing out or trying and failing to finish out the Sotenbori Battle Arena. Because the final floor, I, I looked it up, um, you know, during a previous video. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't, I would have thought it would be 50 or something. But it's it goes down 30 floors, so we're actually getting pretty close to the end of this thing. And this might not be the best possible party, but I like the idea of winning it with this party. Uh, so we uh, have unique opponents, and we have to win without reviving fallen allies. We get an electric whip for it. If we ever switch, uh, I don't know that we're going to use Aerie anymore at all. There's nothing wrong with her as a combat character. She's just so disconnected from the story. But if I ever put Psycho back as being the uh, Night Queen class, Electric Whip might be useful. But otherwise, this uh, Essence of Gale Slash, or uh, eloquent, Elegance, is pretty damn good. To that end, let's actually watch the cinematic. We haven't done that in a while. We may have done that earlier in this video, actually. I'm using it a lot. It's not quite as much fun as the Essence of Elegant cinematic where she's just like repeatedly slicing one in. Don't know why I'm going so all out early, but um... I guess I'm just uh not being very efficient with the uh, MPs right now. Yeah, this doesn't make sense at all, actually, because there's no rush to win this one. We just can't lose party members. And Pornographero. An enemy I've encountered in that sewer dungeon who takes forever to beat, but I've been encountering him for a long time since he's in the sewer dungeon. Apparently he's the most resilient of those enemies, too. 
Oh, you know what? It's fine because Kasuga just got all of his HP's back or MP's back and HP's too. Brasher and Geezer and the Shadow Driver. Nice. And I think to really like to off-screen here efficiently, you need to be winning battles the way I am. Just use your maximum damage, hits everybody, attacks, and just recover your MPs instead of like trying to be MP efficient. Because at some point, if you're you're coming through here after you've cleared it once, you're coming through here to as time efficiently as possible grind for those secondary rewards. We got four more to go. Here's four. We got Heck Razor in there. A Baron Jacket. We can get Empty Cough Drop Tin with win without using recovery items. So, okay. Yeah, empty Cough Drop Tins. I don't know why there's so many ways to win them. Maybe we need a ton, but either way, it doesn't seem like I need to really stress about not having collected one from that uh, that fight against the Electric Crane. Welt Razor. <laughs> that's, that's funny. Right, let's go. Forsaken Samurai. Oh, forsaken. Let's go. It looks like we'll go fairly quickly get into another battle against big uh, sea captain looking guy who he, they just take forever to beat because we fought them before in the sewer dungeon. But you got, if you knock them down, it, it helps a lot, because they don't have defense. Which is why I'm not even thinking about menuing to higher attacks. I'm just taking advantage of them being down. So he didn't get uh, paralyzed. Didn't technically get burned either. And by technically, I mean he didn't get burned. Right. Let's do it. I guess I will uh, get a special going this. here. Let's go. Yeah, but the just guarding stuff makes they just take so little damage. Okay. And in theory, I guess you can maneuver around them, but it's, yeah, it's a pain. You can't really control your movements. You can just wait for stuff to happen. It's a Forsaken Samurai, dude. Captain Crunchy. Almost everybody got their stuff back anyway, so... Look at go. Hell yeah. Congratulations, I got an empty cough dropped in. I knocked over my own party members in my haste. An apparent jacket, my body's a bomb shelter. Nice. And our style is up to level 8. I'm pretty sure we will have maxed out uh, Kasuga's personality by the time this game is over. All right, this time we got a full cast of characters. We can't have anyone knocked out if we want to get the dragon boots. And I think we want to get the dragon boots. Here we go. Got a whole cult of weirdos and chicken head man. Our foe from, well actually he's, he's, he basically is a foe. He's in that stay awake minigame at the uh, movie theater, but he's basically set up as something you accidentally... He's McNugget Messiah. Wow. He's basically set up you accidentally lose more from hitting him than you would by missing one of the regular enemies. Alright, the McNugget Messiah, he's, he's Moon Nugget Messiah. I don't know if Moon Nugget is a pun on something in Japanese, or if it's just, uh, it couldn't be McNugget because I didn't want to get sued. Either way, a 
I love is the gold lame suit. Not, partic not particularly threatening, it seems like, based on that one attack. Having him paralyzed seems good enough. I'm not in a huge rush to defeat him and spend a lot of MP in doing it, you know? Why don't we just kind of close in so we don't have so much ground to cover every time it's time to uh, attack him? Let's do it. Yeah. yeah, the paralysis doesn't always prevent them from taking a turn, but man, it can be useful. Some enemies, it seems to have a higher success rate than others. Not just being applied, but in terms of actually stopping them from attacking. It's, it's, maybe it's in my head, but it seems like that. I'm up. Yeah. He stood fast. Uh oh, he's, uh, he's got some kind of revive attack. The first time he goes down, he gets back up again. You're never gonna keep him down. Hopefully, that only happens once. Okay. He feels limber again. Okay, it only happens once. Yeah, yeah. I feel the stats going up. I did it. Sweet. Essence of rolling mixer. He's he might just because we started in on this. I think he's got the highest level in that like breakdancing wigger class of anybody. <laughs> Standing guard. Standing guard. Delicious. Nutritious. All right. Two more battles to go here. Before we find out what the true ultimate foe of the battle ring is. Okay, uh, win within five turns. Dragon Kinigashi. Alright, well, you know what we do on those those conditions. We just throw out all of our essence attacks and hope for the best. It's like we've got a gold variation on our um, pound mate with the uh, like spiked balls on the, for hands. High Necromancer, the Death Knuckle, and Arminator. I would have given them a chance to show off what they had, except that I really needed to win in five turns. Shout. Strong. Congratulations, Elder for initial award, Dragon Kinagashi. Well, let's grab the primary award first. I'm a little curious if we should be gearing up with some of this new stuff. Strange helmet. Strange helmet. Weird helmet. Let's move on. Just being probably overcautious, but Whoopee. you finally made it. This is the last floor. If you're not feeling confident, you can go back to the entrance. This is what the battle information looks like. What's well, it? So weird. It's not like one big boss. It's three enemies, but they would appear to be super freaks. We got to win within seven turns. So again, I got to treat it like a rush battle, even though it's the final battle of the arena. All right, rush it. Let's get things started. Go out there and fight. 
So I apologize we can't see more of the goofiness of these enemies, but I need to try to win as quickly as possible. Essence of Rose Typhoon. I don't know if we've seen this, so let's check it out now. Hey, it's Tuxedo Mask Attack. Okay, what's the best thing you've got for hitting one enemy? Your stuff is all enemy. Um, paralysis prongs is heavy. I'm looking for extreme. Here we go. Let's go. Power lift. Power load. Watch it explode. Paralyzing can't move. It's overkill, but let's finish with the essence of blade slash. Or heal slash. This is the ultimate enemy of the battle arena, folks. That guy. Never got a chance to take a turn. So one or two little rough spots here and there maybe get concerned we weren't ready to finish this thing off, but it's pretty apparent we were. You'll take it. The yeah, Ultra's traditional reward, Dragon Helm. No kind of special some of the robots over there at the end now, so maybe we'll get some kind of special message here, Dragon Soul Bat. Yippee, congratulations, you have shown us an amazing battle. There are no others who can challenge you here. Do you want to go back to the surface? Yeah, there's nothing else for us to do. Stop by again. I mean, I guess you could, I guess in theory you could go talk to the robot before you've collected the dragon bat and then be pissed. Um, so yeah, I guess it does make sense for them to put a thing we have to confirm you want to leave. Alright, well that's pretty anticlimactic. But at the same time, uh, when we get back to uh, Love, Love, Ken Kyokin, uh, whatever the hell that store is, uh, where you romance workshop yeah when we get back there uh we probably can make a lot of new gear gear for now let us oh there's there's another secret meal let's try that avocado burger plus a drink, because it looks like there's another secret meal that's there. Alright, well. Alright, well, you know, that's, um, for people who like that kind of thing, that was an exciting weekend of videos as they went up. And for people who don't and wanted the story, I'm, I guess I'm sorry we got pulled offline. But uh, yeah, I know where to go grind for additional, um, if I want levels and items, that's probably the place to go. Uh, if I feel like doing any more off screening. It's, but the fact that I'm able to handle it the first time we encounter it, we can clear it all the way, indicates we're already over leveled. But yeah, at some point to take on like post-game ultimate challenges i'm going to want the best gear and that looks like the place to, to go uh, make sure you can get it anyway folks i'm going to call it a video and uh, when we come back next time we will be returning to the story hope you join me for that and um yeah, otherwise uh falsetto robot voice